Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in The Sims 4, we are playing our ABC Legacy Challenge. So we're on Generation C and this is part five. If you don't remember last episode, unfortunately we lost our grandmother. So Allie died, she's our founder. So that is very upset. We also graduated, so that was nice. It didn't really work. It worked, except it didn't put us in our graduation cap. So I kind of had to do that myself. And Clover is also in her third trimester in 12 hours. So that is good, I guess. But I guess, if you are new here, I probably should introduce you to my sims. So this is Benny Hodge. He is the husband of Generation 2, who is Bailey. Um, so they are living here in this little guest house. And then we have Kali be our heir. Very beautiful. Then we have her twin sister, Clover. We have Carson over here, her teenage brother. And she also adopted two cats. So we have a raccoon over here named Chester. And then we have a kitten over here named Caramel. So that is sweet. That's what we did last episode. We also went on a bunch of dates and I'm happy to say that Calliope has found her person. Barry is a good guy. So we've been dating him. At least we think he's a good guy so far. But yeah, everyone is tired. I should probably take care of everyone's needs. Also, today is trick or treat or scary fest, if that's what you want to call it. Okay, so Carson is the first one up. We do have a day off of school, so that is good. He should probably use the bathroom. I think he's going to do that. I don't know why he has to walk around. It would have been easier to just do this, but okay. Then I'm gonna let him take a shower. He should grab something to eat. And then I guess he could change into his scary outfit for Halloween. She also needs to use the bathroom and grab something to eat. I should probably also talk to my little cat. So I'm gonna give her a comforting hug. And yeah, I'm wondering since we have life and death now, like will we get a grief type? Because that is a possibility. And yeah, I have a bunch of graves in here, so I should probably make a graveyard. Everyone wakes up hungry. They're like on the same eating schedule. Okay, Carson. Maybe for Halloween, you could be an astronaut, a villain. Maybe you can be a pizza delivery person. That's fun. And then I think maybe Calliope could be a cheerleader. Or I don't know, I'm kind of thinking cheerleader. But maybe she could be the Grim Reaper instead. And then maybe Bailey could be a mail carrier. Oh, look at her. I'm thinking that maybe Clover could be a villain. And then Benny, I'm so sorry to do this to you, but I'm gonna have you wear the mascot outfit. Hopefully that is okay. The mail is here. We have $3,000 in bills to pay. So to celebrate Halloween, we need to do decorations. So let me do that. That's a little cute. Oh, we have like this spooky fence. That's also fun. For some reason that is not checked off, but whatever. And I also think we personally should decorate ourselves for Halloween. So first I'm gonna filter to the spooky stuff pack. And I think it would be nice if the family would carve some pumpkins. I want all of them to do it at like the same time. So I'm gonna put this in our inventory. So we have Calliope, Clover, Benny, Bailey, Carson. So that's five. That is a lot. Should I have them like this? Maybe. And then we could put like these cute little pumpkins in the front instead of the plants. That would be nice. Ooh, and then we could put like these little ghosties. Good thing we have money for this because I usually probably wouldn't do this, but that's fun. We could probably put up some spiders. And I do know like you can put this down and kids will grab from it, but part of me is like, do we want that? I think we actually want to give them the candy ourselves, but this would be cute as decoration. Maybe I put this on here, size it down, and then like kind of alt place it so that way they hopefully can't get to it so that is my decision right now and then i'll put that little thingy up there i mean it's also fall so maybe we could get this thingy then we have like these cute little graves i guess i don't know if they're that cute but they're graves oh it says we decorated it okay that's good i'm gonna have her grab a treat and see if it works it doesn't okay that's good that is good oh actually she probably needs to take a shower so that means she's probably gonna change out of her outfit which is not good so i think on the calendar i want to host an event i feel like during these challenges, at least on YouTube, I never like host an event. Oh, that's really not good. It says I can't do like a gold event when there's like already something happening. It's just like a holiday. Are they talking about like this event? But I think we're gonna have like a spooky party event and our host will be Calliope and we will invite Barry, 
Carson, our family basically, of course. Maybe we could invite Jeb. I mean, he's kind of a part of the family, you know? And we can have it here tonight at 6 p.m. But until then, I think I might work on Calliope's skills. So I'm gonna have her practice her jokes or tell her jokes instead. Oh, this is like what the villain career looks like. I'm gonna have her maybe write a book. Maybe she can write a playful book. I'm gonna have this girl super sell all of her garden stuff. Honestly, they look like they need water, but that doesn't seem to be an option. So I guess they're fine. Oh look, Benny is watching our performance. Got some royalties, that is fun. I don't even know who this person is. Do I know you? Well, he's down here, but I feel like we don't really have that much relationship for you to be inviting me somewhere. So that's a choice. I think doing the party, I'll have them do all of this stuff, but maybe this is a good time to show you. But I gave Carmine a makeover and I also gave Penny Pizzazz a makeover. So that is good. I didn't invite her over to the party, but maybe we can invite her over now. He is very sad, so hopefully Carmine can cheer him up. And mother, maybe you can like read on your tablet. Read an ebook. Clover is level five of the writing skill. Oh, Carmine is here. Free money. I don't really need it, you know? I have like all the money in the world right now. So we are gonna invite her in, I guess. Have a deep conversation with her. Oh my gosh, not him being instantly flirty as soon as he sees her. Like if you wanna offer her, oh, he got sad again. Oh, now he's flirty again. Okay, oh, you're going in for the kiss? Okay, that's nice. I just wanted you to give her a rose. They look so good together. I wish he wasn't in this outfit. Oh, Clover finished writing her book. That is good. Maybe we can do a sexy pose and mess around and we'll just see where they do that at. Maybe the shower. But her book is excellent. That is good. This is what the playful cover looks like. We also didn't invite over Penny Pizzazz, but I think that's fine. Okay, so they're about to do it. Yeah, I think they are gonna- Oh, they're gonna do it. Wait, you're gonna do it in your sister's bed? Oh my gosh. Why would you do that, Carson? You have a shower. Honestly, this is so rude. The disrespect. Well, I hope Clover doesn't notice. She is watching TV, so she has no idea. Oh, Calliope reached level six. That's so good. Maybe you can stop that now. And maybe you could start programming. Just a thought. She actually needs to make a video game or an app, so that would be good if she could do that. I just don't have that skill yet. So maybe I'll mod a game just for fun. Well, it looks like they are finished. So that is good. What if I put you guys in a group together? Can you then like do your homework together? It says extra credit work. So we'll see how that goes. I don't think it's working. She's not doing it. Maybe we can tell her an inside joke. Oh my gosh, their relationship is like pretty much maxed out. Well, their friendship is not their romance just yet. Okay, stop engaging in conversations. You need to get this done. You need to level up actually. I'm feeling very uncertain unsatisfied in our relationship. Oh, I forgot they were having that problem. They're very unsatisfied. I mean, personally, I feel like you are fine. I guess not. I mean, the thing is, I don't think I gave them like any turn ons or turn offs. So I don't really know what you want from me. I guess they could just be flirty with each other. So maybe you could come over here and just flirt with her. Ooh, we're programming level six. That is good. Well, maybe we can like whisper seductively, hug lovingly, caress cheek embrace. Oh, Carson has football in about an hour. It's weird for him to do this in this outfit, but that is what is happening. We'll kiss neck and then I'll have her maybe do a sexy pose for him, offer a rose, hold hands, flirt, and then maybe a passionate kiss. And then maybe he's like, oh, maybe we can woohoo or something. Oh, a steamy dynamic. That is good. So thankfully they decided to go to their own beds. So they seem pretty fine. Bailey seems fine. And then Benny also seems fine. So it's a start. Are, why are you scratching my bed? I think they decided to just... Oh, they're going somewhere else. Oh my gosh. Clover's room is not the woohoo spot. Please, why would you do this to her? Are y'all serious? I feel so bad for Clover, but good thing she's moving out pretty soon. So she doesn't really have to worry about this too much. Difficult. Calliope and Clover have a difficult family dynamic. No, thank you. What happened? Why are you being mean? Just because you're the Grim Reaper does not mean you get to be mean to people. Maybe you should take a shower before the party. Like, come on, she's pregnant. She's gonna have the baby in no time. I'm pretty sure she's gonna have the baby tomorrow at 12 p.m. So maybe I should move her out before we have to like deal with that. I didn't even notice Carson was gone. So 
now that she's level six, oh, actually, maybe I should talk to my cats. For one, don't scratch. That is bad. Don't do that. So our party starts in about an hour. She's feeling pretty good after her woohoo. And you're judging our food bowl for our dogs. That's questionable, but maybe you should say hey to your mother. Okay, so Carson is back. That is good. I'm going to have her change back into her costume, which was Grim Reaper. Carson, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's like, I'll just keep my football player outfit on. Oh, we have to do this. Treat. They're starting to show up. Maybe you should say hey to your grandma. I know we don't know her that well, but it's a start. Ooh, the party is starting. Yes, let's start. Oh, everyone is changing their costume outfits themselves. So Bailey is a maid. She's an astronaut. I don't really know what you are. And this is our outfit. So yeah, that's fun. Well, we don't really have a goal to complete, but I guess maybe we can ask for a party treat. Discuss costume, maybe. Compliment costume. Oh, we got a party treat. Treat. Ooh, Jeb is here. He's in a robot costume. That's so interesting. I want to thank him for coming. I don't know where that's under. Maybe I'll discuss his costume and then thank him for coming. I think these would probably be the task if we had some. I'm not really sure, but I'm trying here. And then I'm going to have everyone come and carve a pumpkin. So maybe Calliope will carve a cat pumpkin and it will be green. And then maybe Benny will carve a pumpkin. And ooh, he has a lot of options. So maybe owl bailey she can do a smiling pumpkin clover maybe she can do a cockeyed pumpkin and then carson maybe he can do a classic pumpkin so that will be fun for everyone look this is fun family activities making carved pumpkins for the holiday okay everyone is here it looks like so gracie is dressed as a villain we have blair it looks like houston decided not to dress up and barry also decided not to dress up and everyone is eating our food so that's great oh don't tell me he's gonna make a white cake i just know he is i should probably talk to barry compliment costume he's not wearing a costume but oh my gosh gia was just in our bathtub okay we have drew we have our stepfather we have josephine of course oh everyone is done with their pumpkins okay benny this is your time to shine i'm gonna need him oh i thought he would have like enough skill oh well carson made a poor quality one someone decided not to finish I don't think Clover finished it. I'm gonna have her resume. This is Clover's. Hers is not too bad. Yeah, pretty much Carson so far is the only one that messed his up. Calliope is talking to Tasha. Okay, first of all, where is Barry? I feel like I told her to talk to him. He's dancing, of course. I guess we could dance together. Oh, someone did make a white cake. Also, someone didn't finish their white cake. And Clover is also sleeping. Is she that tired that she can't finish her pumpkin? She becomes exhausted in two hours. Hours. Just finish it, please. No, finish it. I don't think she can do it because maybe she's too sad. I don't know. Anyways, I want you to talk to him. Maybe I'll give him residence keys and I can do like a pickup line. We became good friends. Discuss fitness techniques. Oh my gosh, why are you doing all this? Also, why are you in here? You're not a part of the party. Please tell me you're not making another white cake. Josephine. Oh my gosh, no. Look at all of this stuff I have to clean up. Destroy. Destroy 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 like is it that serious i've been thinking about this a lot and wanted to ask if you'd like to live together barry it's so soon um i already have seven sims in my household i don't think it would let me because isn't clover pregnant she is obviously i'll just say i would love to and then i'll cancel it so he doesn't get mad it's a little too soon our house is a little too crowded sorry i'm gonna use the bathroom and maybe i'll just end the party it ends in six minutes actually so I'll let it end on its own. Oh my gosh. Well, we have a cake baking in the oven. Please, Houston. The party was frightful. Okay, whatever. Well, everyone is leaving. As soon as it ended, they were like, okay, we can go. Everyone is asleep except for Calliope. Are y'all really that tired? I think he needs level five to like save all of these. And I would love if he could like save them. So I might just cheat to be level five so we can like preserve them. Because I would like to keep these. Well, everyone is off to sleep so that is good we have hairballs everywhere oh clover is up she's not doing so well she needs to use the bathroom also there's a cake in the oven that someone decided not to cook okay so carson is up he needs to use the bathroom so yeah we played monday for like a while at least for me 45 minutes to get through monday so that's not the best i don't know yesterday was like such a slow day i mean we 
have like so many people in our household. He's cooking a Burmese samosa soup. Thank you, I guess. I wonder how much food we have since the party. Oh, we only have one bison soup, one asado, and eight Burmese samosa soups. Oh, she's helping. That's sweet. Well, you have work today, don't you? You do, and hopefully you get promoted to level five. That would be nice. Maybe you can like talk to your cats, offer friendship, all that good stuff. And as always, everyone is pretty much hungry at the same time. Except for Clover because she ate in like the middle of the night. Well, he's off to school. He didn't get to eat his meal, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna have Bailey get leftovers and have Benny get leftovers. For some reason, this is like fuming green stuff, but I don't know why. There's nothing in there. At least that's what it says. Why is it fuming green? That's so weird, but yeah, we have our nectar back here. It's finally aged. That is so good. I mean, if I ever want to make someone younger, I can. He's gonna make steamed rice. Oh, are you- you have work today? I did not know she had work. She probably shouldn't go in because she's pregnant, but you know, if you say so, Calliope is off to work. Okay, it says beat reporter's big break. Clover looks up to see her editor leaning against the frame of her office door with a sly grin on his face. In his hand, he's clutching a paper and he asks, do you know what I've got here? Clover shakes her head no. And sure what her editor is being so coy about is from the head office of the Post Times. They've specifically requested your help in writing a retrospective on GeekCon for a story that'll run internationally. What do you say? Having an article published internationally would surely be a boon for Clover, putting money in her pocket and increased recognition behind her name. Is she actually ready for the higher level of scrutiny that'll bring? Well, I mean, I'm gonna say yeah. She got a thousand dollars from that. That is good. She's a notable newcomer. But yeah, everyone is off to work or school, so we are here with the adults today. I might have them go volunteering so we can just like pass the time. I don't really need to do anything with them. She literally came over here to like criticize the fur ball. That's so weird. You could have just like picked it up, you know? So he can now release the steam on his rice and maybe you can grab all servings. Oh, that actually looks like good quality. It's excellent quality. Good job. I actually made these candles for Calliope so I feel like I should probably put them out. He actually got a trait from this. Simmering satisfaction from using the pressure cooker. Nothing quite like enjoying the delicious fruits of labor, especially when the pot does all the work. Maybe we can like lecture our cat about doing all of these things. I'm just having Bailey jog. Wait, Tasha, is that Tasha? That's Tasha, not knock joke. Shouldn't you be in school? Oh, I think she's going home. Well, never mind. Oh, we caught up with her, but we stink. We stink, that's not good. We're getting closer to our sister, so I think that's really nice. She should probably spend her time taking a shower and Knox is here. Maybe I'll have Benny go jogging as well. I'm just gonna like speed up the time here. Oh, actually Clover is in labor. It shows that she's still off at work, but I guess I'm gonna have her have a baby at the hospital. Baby at hospital actually. Okay, I'm gonna send her alone and we're gonna imagine that Penny Pizzazz went with her. Okay, so it looks like Calliope had a girl. That is good and her name is Hannah Spark. That's a cute name. Well, Clover, don't you think you should be home from work? She is home from work. It's just bugged. Oh, she had her little baby. I guess I can just have her leave early. Oh, well, that was a problem. I guess because she's probably like already home. Clover's responsibility fell out of range. Girl, I'm a whole young adult. What are you talking about? I'm just gonna like go to Manage Worlds and move them out to their new house. So I built them a home in Delso Valley. It's very very expensive. So first I'm gonna have Glover move in with Penny Bazaz. Maybe I'll give her like $35,000 and that should be good. And then I'll turn free real estate on so they can afford their new home. Oh, I probably should have checked what was in her inventory first. So that's not good. I kind of want to play and see if there's like anything important because I did not check. I was literally like, get out of here. I'm just gonna like jump into build mode real quick and I'll just put their baby in her room and I'm hoping the photos in her inventory are specifically only her and Penny. This one is poor quality so that's not good. Yeah I think all of her photos are of Penny Pizzazz so that's nice. Did I not put any other photo collages? If so that is surprising. I guess we can put the baby prints in this room but yeah she doesn't have like anything important. Now we can go back to Calliope. I feel like it's so hard to play with Calliope mainly just because she
she's always at work. I usually have die in accidents off and now I'm just like realizing that that isn't off in the save so that is interesting. Yeah unfortunately Clover did not get a chance to like finish her pumpkin which I was hoping to have her finish but I guess not. But I'm gonna put everything back like we had it. So I'll put these pumpkins in our inventory. I'll save one carving table and then maybe I'll just sell the rest. Um, we have a charisma book. We don't really need that. We got this from the tech guru career. So we have our table back. Oh, it seems we already have these lights in here. I'm pretty sure this is probably completing the party actually. We can put our beautiful flowers back. You get this from the athlete branch. Who's in the athletic career? I don't know who's in that career, but okay. These are some cute flowers. So maybe I'll put them in here. I can get rid of this bassinet. And I also can clear out Clover's room. We don't need any of this stuff. So this will be perfect for a nursery whenever Calliope gets pregnant. But for now, it's just like an empty room. We could also take down the decorations. And I'll leave the wreath since it's still fall. But it looks like she wants to take a swim. But maybe she can like water her plants. And then I guess Calliope gets off of work at 5 p.m. I think I might just have them go volunteering because I just, I'm wasting time, you know? So they should just walk to fight disease. Oh, and the shower is broken. That's no good. This is just what I like to do to speed up time. Okay, so Carson is back. Obviously, he is sad because our family member is still gone. Maybe he can give himself a pep talk. Oh, it says whether it be a divorce or loss of a job or losing a loved one, grief is a normal, tough part of life that every sim has to navigate. Carson feels as though it's best to project a sense of optimism even while carrying a heavy burden. He is doing well by holding it together, engaging in social interactions and activities with the confident emotions. However, sad emotions can certainly work their way in and bubble over from time to time. Oh, and then Calliope got the same thing. Okay, so his grief type is holding it together and for Calliope, she has blues grief. So it says Sims with this grief type frequently experience sad emotions and are prone to gloomy interactions. Sims can cope positively by attending grief counseling, reading, painting, improving their logic skill, practicing wellness, or playing instruments. These activities can help lift their spirits and provide a healthy outlet for their emotions. And then she has like this little moodlet for three hours that's so sad and then she's not over the death yet so we don't know what her grief type will be yet and she might not even get one so we just have to wait I guess oh they're done volunteering well Calliope comes back home in one hour oh my gosh I just remembered I had them woohoo yesterday there's no way they're pregnant right because I'm pretty sure for adults I have that in low percentages yes okay oh that was so scary why did I do that it seems Houston is here so I guess we can like invite him in and gossip maybe oh my gosh don't tell me someone else died what do you mean oh malcolm landgrab and jeb harris has passed away oh my gosh i was so scared why would you tell me that no offense but i feel like mm, it's just it's not that important i'm sorry jeb i don't even think she's sad about jeb she's just like okay okay and she is experiencing death again from losing a good friend okay were you really friends with Malcolm. I don't know how. I honestly don't know how they were good friends. That's a little surprising to me. Well, that is upsetting, I guess. I don't know if I'm tripping, but like, where is Jeb? I guess I have to look for a ghost. I don't see Jeb. I know Jeb. There's no way Bailey does not know Jeb, but for some reason, Calliope knows Jeb. I don't- Okay, anyways, fine, but- it looks like Bailey got the denial grief. Sims with this grief type gain bored and fine moods as they turn away from processing their emotions while grieving. Sims can cope positively by attending grief counseling, gardening, painting, and all that other stuff. If this sim stays in denial, their grief can evolve into anger or blues grief types, prolonging their grief. Well, I guess we should probably travel to get those graves. And honestly, I'm kind of thinking of like doing a grave hunt in this save since one aging is on. And I also have 
like the neighborhood stories on where they can die in accidents. So I feel like I kind of want to go grave hunting, but I'm going to collect their grave. Unfortunately, Gracie is left taking care of a horse and her little sister and a cat. Hopefully she is fine doing all of this and she ages up in, oh, she literally ages up tomorrow. So that's fine. Oh, I should probably reach out for help. Like, I'm so sorry you're doing this by yourself, girly. I already see the urn. Oh, I think it's her reaching out for help actually instead of reaching out to help her. I definitely read that wrong. I feel like I probably should make a new house for them. I'm gonna teach her about responsibilities and console about death. Oh, Blair is here. Hi, Blair. I'm gonna do like a family kiss and Calliope got promoted. So it looks like she has work at the same time. Still, that's so annoying. But she makes $112 per hour and she got the hipster hugger. I don't know what that is. We should probably clean this up and we'll just clean some things up. I guess for her just to help around the house. I think it would be fun if we had like a family reunion. Also the horse is inside. I don't know about that. I guess we can like go home or get Malcolm's grave but I don't know if I care to do that. No one lives here. Okay well I can just go into build mode and grab the graves thankfully. So we have two. We have Jeffrey. We have Nancy. Oh wait actually thinking about it. I should probably just put these in my inventory. I feel like we're already doing the grave hunt but where did they live i feel like i put them here like i'm 100 percent sure i moved them here so i guess their graves are just not there i'm not gonna lie i feel like this episode hasn't been so eventful like we only got to the next day and like that's just not good but it's like calliope has worked nine to five every day so like we barely have any time with her which is kind of sad because we don't really get to work on her stuff i guess i should probably end it off here i'm so sorry that it was this eventful in this episode but we got to celebrate Halloween we got to see the grief types um and Clover had her baby and moved out so that is good so I guess in the next episode no promises but I'm thinking that maybe she could get pregnant I did talk about like her and her sister being pregnant at the same time so there's a possibility that I will have Clover be pregnant right after she just gave birth which is fine because it's the sims but if you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you. You are important. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.